Today I'm showing you everything that I'm keeping in my winter capsule wardrobe for 2023 and I'm gonna cover absolutely everything. All of my clothes and bags and shoes and accessories and also outerwear so you can get the full picture. <laughs> and as always, how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna break everything down in categories so it can be more useful to you and it's also much easier for me and that's how my brain works. When it comes to winter tops, the first category that I have are button-ups and this is my selection right here. <laughs> the first one that I have is this black silk sheer button-up that is so, so gorgeous and it's perfect when I want to be a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more fancy and of course it's not the warmest but you know, I'm just wearing it for those occasions where I know it's going to be a little bit warmer inside and as always I put a nude cami underneath so nothing is showing. And then the second one, it's pretty much the same. <laughs> it's a sheer button up, but it's really, really fun. I love this polka dot design. It has really fun sleeves. Again, I have to wear my nude cami underneath, but it's perfect for those occasions when I wanna be a little bit more fancy. And again, it's warmer inside. <laughs> Then lastly, I have this white button up, which is an absolute staple. If I would just have to pick one for my winter capsule, this would be it because it's so, so perfect for layering. I can wear it on its own, even though it's not the warmest, but when I want to be a little bit warmer, I can just put a jumper on top of it and just the color is showing. So for those who love a preppy look, a white button up, it's obviously an essential in the winter as well. <laughs> Then the next category, I'm just gonna call special occasion tops because I don't know what else to call these items. They're more unique. So the first one that I have is this mock neck black shorter sleeves kind of jumper. And I love this one because it's so, so versatile. But again, it's more appropriate for special occasion because you have to be somewhere where it's gonna be a little bit warmer. <laughs> it's not kind of for everyday winter wear. And then this one, also, it's a little bit sheer, so again, I have to wear a nude cami underneath, but it's so, so gorgeous. I love this lace detail, it's so unique. I must say, I don't wear these items a ton, but when the occasion calls, I know I have an option. <laughs> then, of course, we also have winter jumpers to talk about, and this is my selection. I have four, and maybe as you're watching this, you're kind of realizing that I have less items than I did when I was building my winter capsule wardrobe, and that's because First, I decluttered my wardrobe. And second thing, when I was putting things back, I decided to be a little bit more minimal. So I put some more stuff in storage. <laughs> so this is my selection of winter jumpers. The first one, it's a crew neck jumper and it's just a staple. This one, you can wear it in a million different ways. I love it. I had it for a really long time and it's definitely not going anywhere. And then I also have this bright pink jumper that it's out of wool. So it's very warm, very cozy. And I just really love wearing it when I want to be super cozy. Uh, the color is absolutely amazing. It's a pop of color in those winter days and yeah. I just love wearing it. Then I also have this light pink jumper that I love in the winter as well. It has this fun little button, silver buttons, and I just feel like a million bucks whenever I'm wearing this one because the details and just the fit, everything is just amazing. And lastly, I have this one with really, really fun, unique sleeves. I love puff sleeves, apparently. <laughs> That's what I go for. And the color is perfect. It's really, really versatile. Uh, and the neck, it's a little bit higher. It's kind of a mock neck, but I still count it as my new you know, normal winter jumper. And now here is my selection of turtlenecks, which I have quite a few. I love wearing them in the winter. And the first one is the black one because this is a staple. Obviously, I can wear it in so many different ways. It's gonna keep me warm. And like with most of my stuff, I have a slim fit, so it's very fitted, so I can easily tuck it in, and I just love this one. Then I also have this one that it's a check pattern, so it's a little bit more unique. This one, it's not the thickest, but it's still warm enough, so I can easily wear it. And I just love this one because of the pattern. That's why I keep it, so I can have a little bit more fun when I want to. Then for my colorful options, the first one that I have is this one one that it's a plum turtleneck and I love plum color in the winter. I also have a plum scarf so I just love how it looks. Again it's fitted. I can easily tuck it into absolutely everything and I just love 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 the color. And the other colorful turtleneck that I have is of course the one that I'm wearing today. This one is so 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 stylish so amazing. I love it. It's orange so I love orange in the winter as well and again it has puff sleeves. It's so unique and I can easily tuck it in as you can see. <laughs> and lastly I have two neutral. So the first one is a beige color which is a newer color a newer edition and I just love it so much. I love neutrals because you can wear them in a million different ways and this one is so 
elegant and it goes with all of my outerwear and shoes and also my scarf so I love it and then I also have this light light gray jumper but it almost looks off-white <laughs> and again the fit is so 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 amazing it's really fitted it's really warm and what else can I say I can again wear it with absolutely everything all of my scarves and shoes and outerwear bottoms everything that I have then when it comes to cardigans I just have one and it's this black one that it's really 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 long <laughs> but I love it because it's so so cozy and so so warm and it's perfect to throw on even throughout the day when I'm just you know <laughs> working from home sometimes I just throw it on and it keeps me warm it's also stylish it just ticks every single box and one is more than enough for me and then the last category when it comes to winter tops are blazers which I don't wear a ton and I'm debating if I still want to keep them in my winter capsule wardrobe in the future but for this year I decided to keep two so I can see how much I wear them so the first one that I have is this black one with silver buttons and this one I bought a little little bit oversized so I can easily wear it over my thicker jumpers or turtlenecks but the problem that I have is that it's very hard to wear it when you go outside because you have to put the coat over it and when you have a blazer and a coat on top of it it gets very restrictive very soon <laughs> so that's why I don't wear it a ton and then this one it's a little bit thinner and a little bit smaller in size so I cannot really wear it over thick thick jumpers but anything lighter can still work it has gold buttons and I absolutely love both blazers I wear them a ton throughout the entire year but just the winter it's kind of you know where I don't wear them a ton but we're gonna see how this winter goes as you can see my winter dress collection expanded a little bit <laughs> because I really 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 love wearing dresses in the winter for some reason I love to wear them obviously in the summer but then in the winter the dresses that I have are really cozy really warm and when I layer them with tights and then over the boots and coats it's just I'm so cozy and so warm and they look super super stylish so the first one that I have is this one that it's the warmest dress that I own it's a wool dress and I really have to be <laughs> strategic when I wear it because I could easily be too hot in it if I know I'm gonna be inside a lot of the time this is something I have to skip because I'm gonna be sweating sooner or later but for all of the colder days or when I'm gonna be outside a little bit more I love this one then I have this absolutely gorgeous dress that I love so much it has this really fun pattern with baby pink and white and black and even though it's kind of more a statement in dress I still wear it a ton I still wear it on repeat because in my opinion it's still not too statementy if that's the word <laughs> then for my colorful dress I have this one that it's just such a stunning color I love red in the winter and also it's a little bit longer so it gives me extra warmth and I can easily wear it with my over the knee boots <laughs> and my coats and all of that and I'm gonna be super cozy and super warm then I also have this sleeveless dress that it's not very wintry <laughs> but I still wanted to include it because I wanted to see how much can I actually wear it in the winter I can easily layer it with all of my buttons or even a turtleneck like this <laughs> I think I can still play around with it to see you know what kind of outfit combinations I can come up with but if I don't wear it a ton this winter then definitely next year it's not gonna be included and then I have another gorgeous dress and this one is again a newer buy and I just love 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 it it's so cozy it's so versatile um, and also it has long sleeves it's kind of a mini skirt but it's not too short and again I can wear it with absolutely everything I love it and then lastly I have a black cashmere dress that it's very warm again because obviously it's cashmere this one it's not that fitted but it's a little bit shorter <laughs> and I just love how you can wear it in so many different ways I love wearing this one when I'm working from home <laughs> because I can be super cozy super relaxed it almost feels like I'm not wearing anything like I'm in my loungewear stuff or something <laughs> but you still look stylish and I love this one very much and now here are all of my neutral bottoms which everything is black which is kind of ridiculous but apparently that's what I go for uh, but if we break it down into categories the first one that I have is a skirt now I personally love a high waist mini skirt because that's what I feel most me in <laughs> so I have two options the first one is this faux leather skirt that it's so stylish and it's perfect if I wear it with other black items because it gives me a little bit more contrast a little bit more interest and just 
I love a leather skirt because it can just elevate the look immediately. And then the second skirt that I have is the one that I'm wearing today. Again, it's high-waisted and mini and it's just a normal black cotton and it's very, very comfy, very versatile. I can wear it in so many different ways and I love tucking my jumpers into skirts, you know, like I'm wearing today. <laughs> I also forgot to mention another category of bottoms that I absolutely love wearing in the winter and that is shorts. I just have one black pair that is high-waisted and it was in the laundry basket when I was filming this video, that's why I completely forgot about them. But as with skirts, if I layer them with very thick tights and warm winter coats, they can be a very stylish option to wear even when it's colder outside. As for my jeans, I decided to keep three different washes. So the first one that I have is this black, it's kind of a peach black, so it looks more elegant than the wash black. And again, it's very versatile, it has a higher rise, so it's perfect to tuck things in and you're not gonna be cold, nothing is gonna, you know, slide up. <laughs> and I love wearing this one, they're also skinny, so I can easily tuck them into the boots, so this is a staple. Then also have these dark wash jeans that again, have a higher rise and also they're skinny, so I can easily tuck them into my boots. I love to go for darker wash in the winter because it provides really nice contrast with colorful pieces like this. I have a lot of bright jumpers in the winter so I want to have jeans that are not blue, they're almost kind of neutral if that makes sense. And then this pair again has a high rise and it's skinny but it's a medium wash and I love wearing this one with all of my neutrals when it's a little bit warmer outside for some reason that's what I wear when it's sunny <laughs> uh, but it looks perfect with all of my white and black items and yeah Again, I wear it a ton, it's very comfy, so I love them. Then I also have these faux leather pants that are, again, such a staple for the winter months. And I've been wearing them so much, they're actually kind of getting worn down. <laughs> but the reason I wear them that much is because they are fleeced inside. So they are very comfy and they are very warm. Again, it's almost like you're wearing loungewear, but you look a little bit stylish. So I love this, they're a staple, especially with my all black outfit. And then lastly, I just have two pairs of trousers or pants <laughs> uh, and they are kind of similar but it just depends on what kind of shoes I'm wearing. So this pair is perfect to wear with my white sneakers and I love that look of a jumper, this you know wide legged pants with white sneakers. I think it looks very very nice, very polished and you know maybe that's because I'm getting older. I'm not sure but I'm realizing that I prefer wearing pants a lot of the time to jeans. I'm not sure why, but something is changing. <laughs> and this I absolutely love. And this pair are perfect to wear with high heels. So for that reason, I don't wear them a ton. But again, if I'm going somewhere for a special occasion or if I wanna be a little bit more fancy, this is what I would pick. They have even higher rise than this first pair, but you know, they're just super elegant and I love, love wearing them. Now for my outerwear, I will go through everything in order of thickness. <laughs> so the first one that I have is a wool coat, which is the lightest one that I have, but it's still very warm. And again, I wasn't sure if I would wear it a lot in the winter, if it's maybe, you know, too cold for that. But since I put it in my wardrobe, I've been wearing it a ton and it's perfect for those days they are kind of indoor-outdoor, indoor-outdoor. <laughs> so you're not gonna be sweating when inside, but also when you're outside, you're not gonna be too cold. And again, I bought it a little bit oversized size so I can you know have my thicker stuff underneath but I love this one so much. <laughs> then I also have this faux fur coat that I love so much it's so so warm and my husband he's not a fan of it I must admit but I keep saying to him try it on wear it outside once and you will see why I love it so much it's very very comfy this is the largest coat that I have so I have a lot of room <laughs> to move and also it's so 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 warm it's almost on pair with my puffer coat and sometimes I even think this one is warmer, but yeah. I didn't do any proper testing to find that out, but this one, I love it, I wear it, it's warm, and it's a winter, winter staple. And lastly, I have two winter puffer coats that again, I love them both, I wear them a lot. The first one is this one, <laughs> that it's a white beige color, it's a neutral coat, and it goes with absolutely all of my scarves, all of my accessories, and when I wanna have that kind of a monochrome outfit, a lighter color outfit, I love wearing this one. Again, it's very warm and I just love it. <laughs> and then this one is the black buffer coat. Again, it's a little bit longer. It has black hardware, so it's very versatile. It also has an amazing hoodie because you can really adjust it so it doesn't move anywhere. So I love the hood. And this is probably my most worn coat of winter. I just love it. <laughs> 
Now we can go through all of my winter accessories, but before I show you everything, just a quick reminder that if you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, it really helps me out, so thank you. <laughs> now the first category I wanna go through are all of my winter belts, and the first one that I have is this waist belt that I must admit I don't wear it a ton because I find that it's a little bit too wide for my taste, but despite of that, I still believe that having a waist belt in your capsule wardrobe is an amazing addition because it can just elevate the whole outfit or if you have really oversized dresses you can cinch them in or even like what I'm wearing today if I would add a belt you know it just would make things a little bit more fun but like I said the one that I have it's not my favorite but it's still wear it enough to keep it then I also have this tan belt with a gold buckle that provides me a little bit of contrast with all of my darker bottoms and I also love this one when I want to create that kind of monochrome effect with lighter outfits I don't wear it a ton, but again, I wear it enough to keep it. <laughs> And then to my most warm belt, <laughs> the first one that I have is this black belt with a gold buckle that I live in. <laughs> I love this belt. I love black belts in particular because they're so versatile and then I just pick which buckle, which metal do I want to wear, you know, that day. This one is real leather, so versatile and I love it. And then this one that it's also an amazing belt. Again, it's black, it's leather and it has this silver buckle that it's very statementy, but you've seen me wear this belt a million times. I obviously love it. <laughs> And now let's go through my winter scarf collection, which it's not small because I love scarves, but <laughs> the first one that I have is this, that it's a plum color and I love plum in the winter months, especially when I wear all black outfit, for some reason, this is what I love to go for. And also when I'm wearing silver earrings and silver jewelry, I just love this color next to silver. Then I also have this baby pink scarf that again, it's gorgeous color and also it has hearts on the other side. So very, very versatile. And I love, love style stylish scarves because they can do so much for you. They're gonna keep you warm, but also if you have very sporty jackets, they're gonna create a more elevated, elegant, stylish look. So if you don't believe me, if you have a sporty jacket at home, put a nice scarf on top of it and you will see how much nicer it looks. You can see I kind of have a thing for check patterns. This one, it's a tank color. And again, it has red hearts on the other side because I love red, pop of red in the winter. And this one is one of my most worn scarves. Then I also have this white, huge scarf with red details. Again, it's a check pattern and I love traveling with this one. If I travel in the winter months, this is what I take with me because it's the most versatile scarf that I have. And it's so big and so warm and so cozy. And then I also have this white scarf that it's more like a shawl. And I don't wear it a ton, but I wanted to keep it in my winter capsule for this year so I can track it to see how much I reach for it. Even though it's a gorgeous scarf, I just think that I don't like solid colors when it comes to scarves. Now my hat selection is really, really minimal. <laughs> so the first thing that I have are these black earmuffs that are perfect to wear with my puffer coat hoodies. So that's how I love to wear them. I put them on top and then if I need extra warmth, I put a hoodie on top of it and I'm very, very warm. And I prefer this method <laughs> much more to normal winter hats that keep riding up and down and you have to constantly readjust them. So this is what I have. And then for a more stylish option, I also have this wool hat that looks very elegant and chic. I can show you, you can see. <laughs> but this one is perfect when it's raining or snowing a little bit and I don't want to ruin my hair or my makeup and yeah it doesn't give me a lot of warmth but it gives me a lot of style which also counts for something <laughs> and now lastly all of my <laughs> winter gloves which I have three different pairs so the first one that I have are these black cashmere gloves and I wear this pretty much every single day. When it's not snowing, when I don't need to be driving, <laughs> this is what I go for. Now, when it's driving and I wanna be warm, I love to wear leather gloves because they give me a little bit more grip, but they are also fleeced inside. So they are again, very cozy, very warm, but not waterproof. So that's why I also have my snow gloves, waterproof gloves that are perfect when it's snowing outside, <laughs> when I have to clean the car and I don't want any water to come through the gloves. When it comes to winter bags, the first one that I have is this black backpack that I just have out the entire year because you always need a backpack. <laughs> even though I don't wear it a ton, whenever we go on a trip somewhere or even shopping sometimes, I love to take it with me because I can put a lot of stuff in the backpack and it's also a stylish version, it's a leather version, so it can easily work with nicer outfits. Then the second all year staple that I have is this big 
tote work bag that it's perfect to fit my laptop in here and I used to wear this bag on an everyday basis but now my lifestyle changed a little bit so I don't reach for it as much as I used to but it's still perfect to keep whenever I want to take my laptop with me or some books or I don't know if I want to take my work with me I can easily take this bag that's why I'm keeping it out for winter as well and then the last category I have are all of my crossbody bags which is what I wear most of the time I don't like to take a lot of stuff with me so the first one that I have is this absolute gorgeous bag that is one of my favorites it has black hardware so it's very versatile it's also shiny leather so it goes perfectly with all of my wool coats and faux fur coats and also puffer coats it's a really nice size I can still put a lot of stuff in it my Kindle so this one I love, I wear it all of the time. And then the second black cross body bag that I have is this one. It's a newer buy, but I love it very much. I bought it to wear the entire year and I've been already wearing it a ton in the winter because it's a really nice size. It's not too big, not too small. And it's perfect because it's so cute and petite. It's perfect for kind of more special occasion look as well. So I love this one. And then the red sister <laughs> this one is pretty much the same but just in the red color and again it's a perfect size I love wearing it especially when I wear my scarves that have red details now if you've seen them <laughs> it gives a little bit of pop of color and I just love red color in the winter and then this lighter nude color that I also love very much this one is full because I've been wearing it yesterday and today <laughs> but I love this bag again for special occasion and also when I'm creating monochrome outfits I love that lighter look and whenever I'm doing Doing that I picked this bag because it looks absolutely gorgeous and now all that it's left are my winter shoes so I'm gonna start with sneakers and I just have this white pair that I wear the entire year and this one I love wearing when it's really sunny outside really dry so you know it's not raining and <laughs> I love 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 sneakers also with my pants that I showed you before so yeah they're a staple for every year and I also wear them in the winter and now if I go through all of my ankle booties let me see what I have so the first pair that I have are this suede ankle booties with a little bit of a heel they're perfect to wear every day they are very very versatile they don't have any noticeable hardware they're comfortable to walk in and yeah I love to wear them in the winter and then again I have this leather ankle booties with a little bit of a higher heel so these are perfect to wear for a special occasion or for a date night or even if I want to be fancy they're still very comfortable considering the heel height so I love wearing them I also love the tassels at the side so a winter staple definitely <laughs> and then of course I also have Ugg boots mine are black and they're a little bit higher but they're very very comfy very warm and I just wear them a lot more than I would like to admit but I do try my best to look stylish when wearing Ugg boots so I don't look frumpy but yeah these are one of my favorite ankle booties and lastly I have my snow boots which are not very high for snow boots, but they're enough for me. They're again waterproof, they're very, very nice, so I'm not sliding anywhere. And whenever it's snowing or even raining a lot, this is what I love to wear, <laughs> obviously. And then the last category are my over the knee boots. So I have three over the knee boots in total. And the first pair are these taupe over the knee boots with a little bit of a heel. And they are very, very, very comfortable. I'm actually surprised at how much I'm wearing them. I wasn't sure about the color, but I've been wearing them a ton and I love how they look with nude tights. If you have something like a black dress, nude tights and these boots, I love it. <laughs> then I also have black over the knee boots, <laughs> again with the heel, and these are not nearly as comfortable. And that's why I recently bought a memory insert. So you can kind of walk on that memory and it's a little bit more comfortable. I still wear them enough, especially if I go somewhere where I sit a lot, it's perfect for that because they only really hurt slightly when you walk for a long time. So anything else, works perfectly fine. And then lastly, probably one of my most warm boots for the winter, these flat over the knee boots. They're leather and they're very comfy. And this is again, something I live in in the winter months. They're so sturdy, so versatile and so, so, so stylish. So I love them. And now to put everything into numbers, <laughs> for my winter capsule wardrobe 2023, I'm keeping 18 tops, six dresses, nine bottoms, six bags, eight pairs of shoes, four belts, six scarves, two hats and three pairs of gloves. 
Now, if you want to know exactly how I built this winter capsule wardrobe that I just showed you today, <laughs> then I will link another video behind the scenes, the process, how I built my winter capsule wardrobe. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you next time.